Welcome, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and, and this, this is Desmond's Donders. We left Skydroy. Uh, we'd been there three nights and didn't want to stay too long. Uh, it would have been nice to spend another night, but this helps. We stopped off at the viaduct at Cullen. It's been quite busy, but we stopped off the viaduct at Cullen to uh, bring us closer to home without being at home. And uh, we can get home quicker tomorrow, which will keep Lindsay happy. As I say, it's been quite busy. I've flown the drone and uh, looked at the viaduct again from the drone point of view. Um, there were some problems, I don't know what was going on, but uh, it wasn't happy when it came to landing time. But I landed, got it put away, got the shots. Uh, the, the bridge is there, Lindsay's been out with her camera. She's on a walk at the moment, she's off to uh, the Cairns, so we'll include the Cairns in this little bit of video. And uh, I'm just shooting some general shots and a, a little intro. So I hope you enjoy this one and uh, let's get on with it. There's gulls and carrion crows vying for places to nest. Don't know if you can hear them. These shots, of course, are similar to the ones taken at Christmas, um, except for the snow. There isn't any now. The river that the viaduct crosses. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but there is an aircraft out of Dal Cross. It's so strange the way they take off now, they almost deliberately go over in Maness Airport, uh, in Maness City. It's a bit windy and starting to rain, so I'm going to head back. Not without first catching the viaduct as it disappears off into the distance. Yeah. 
The Culloden Viaduct is a railway viaduct on the Highland Main Line. To the east of the city of Inverness in the Highland Council region of Scotland. It was designed by Murdoch Patterson and opened in 1898 as part of the Inverness and Aviemore Direct Railway, which was built by the Highland Railway. The 29 span viaduct crosses the wide valley of the River Nairn at 1800 feet in length. It is the longest masonry viaduct in Scotland. Historic Scotland added the viaduct to its Category A listed building protected status on October 5th 1971 and it is nearby two important sites. Culloden Battlefield and the Clava Cairn, a trio of Bronze Age burial cairns. Culloden Moor Railway Station was situated at the northern end of the viaduct, but the station was closed in the 1960s. The viaduct remains in use as of 2023. for a walk. You've got me today with a nearly flat battery. I'm trying to get to the river and it should be just down here. It says follow the path but there's about 13 paths. Let's see what happens. There's a couple of trains gone over since we got here and uh, they make a noise, obviously, but not as much as either of us were expecting. Plus, the uh, the big thing that's happened is a bunch of people turned up all at once while Lindsay was on a walk to the Cairns. Of course, yeah, she came back just as they were all there, and uh, no, it wasn't the Cairns. She just went for a walk around the corner and they turned up. She came back and was going to the Cairns. But there was a five, five or six cars there, full of people and all playing with the doors. And if you remember playing with the doors from our video in December, it was uh, because they make a loud and uh, echoey noise. It's quite windy, so I don't know how much you're hearing of this. But we shall see. Lots of crows etc and gulls trying to nest on the bridge. I don't know how successful they can be with the, uh, the trains running by. And we've had red kites uh, doing their mating dance uh, nearby. So they're spreading away from the, uh, the place, the red kite place, the other side of the mess. So uh, all very interesting if you're into birds. Now, we've uh, come into some sort of fence. It looks as though we're going to have to stop unless there's a gate in it. There's all sorts of paths crisscrossing. There's other people that have gone for a look at each individual uh, arch. But who knows?
we'll find out soon. I'm not seeing a gate, except into the next field. But there's a fence across there as well, so... The car park we're in can't be a fisherman's car park. An old piece of farm machinery sitting down there going to rust. Don't know exactly what it did, but uh, somebody might know. One thing though, we haven't had any rain today, but the weather is certainly not as good as the weather we've had. And there you go, see, at the end of the fence, there's a way down to the river. Looks like somebody's knocked the fence over to give them access. But it looks like it was once a gate. I don't know that I'm going down there. Let's go across it. I'm going to switch you off and use my other camera for a sec. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners and remember please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.